Stand together and take your seat. Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. Amen. We're starting our intercession this morning on this note. We're saying, Father, turn every winner on the harvest field into a new threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest, thereby leading many to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. In Isaiah 41 and verse 15, the word of the Lord says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, haven't it? Thou shalt tread the mount, thresh the mountains, and be them small, and shall make the hills as chaff. With that assurance of scriptures, can we rise and begin to pray in this manner? Father, turn every winner on the harvest field into a new threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest, thereby leading many to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. Father, turn each and every winner on the harvest field into a new sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest, thereby leading many to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. Everyone out on the harvest field will know where to go and what to say. Lord, will make their faces as flint law. Lord, all they speak to shall hear. You have assured us a mouth and wisdom that none of our adversaries will be able to gainsay or resist. On account, Lord, make every winner on the harvest field a sharp threshing instrument, haven't it, Lord? So they're able to reap the harvest, Lord, and thereby lead many to Christ and to this church all through this glorious prophetic season. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your mighty hand, Lord God, fulfill what your word has spoken, Lord. Lord, make every winner on the harvest field. Turn them into a new, sharp, threshing instrument. Haven't it? Make them effective in reaping the harvest thereby leading many to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season in the mighty name of Jesus. Is somebody praying? Is God hearing your voice on high? Pray, say, Father, turn every winner on the harvest field into a new sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest, thereby leading many to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. Prayer that prayer with all of your heart. Cry unto God desperately. Father, make every winner on the other's field. Turn them into a new, sharp, threshing instrument, Lord. So they are effective in reaping the others. Thereby leading many to Christ and to this church. All through this prophetic season. Lord, let none go out and come back empty. As Philip went into Samaria, Lord, and the old city was filled with joy. Lord, as that woman, Lord God, went back into the same city, testified, and many believed on account of her testimony. Lord, let it be, Lord, that every winner on the harvest field becomes a sharp threshing instrument, thereby reaping the harvest in the mighty name of Jesus and leading many to Christ and to this church. All through this prophetic season. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. You can talk to God in your understanding. Pray also in the spirit. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, turn every winner on the harvest field into a sharp threshing instrument for effectiveness in reaping the harvest, thereby leading many to Christ and to this church in this glorious prophetic season. Lord, let it be so. As they go out, Lord God, Lord, tell them what to say. Teach them, Lord. Lord, be in their mouth, Lord God. So the right message to the right person in the mighty name of Jesus, and none shall be able to resist. Now lift up your hands and begin to thank God. As we have asked, that's what we receive. Father, we thank you, Lord. For they will come in in droves, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please put your hands together. Take your seats.
next this morning we'll be rising to pray saying father we decree the destruction of every satanic opposition to the continuous growth of this church resulting in the multiplication of disciples of christ in this church in isaiah chapter 8 verse 9 and 10 paraphrase it associate yourselves O ye people and you shall be broken in pieces take counsel together and it shall come to naught speak the word and it shall not stand for our god is with us please let's rise up this morning as we begin to engage saying father and we decree the destruction of every satanic opposition to the continuous growth of this church resulting in the multiplication of disciples of christ day in this church lift up your voice this morning someone and let the lord hear your voice of intercession our father we decree the destruction of all satanic gang up to the continuous growth of this church resulting in the multiplication of disciples of christ in this joy lift up your voice and let the lord hear your voice of intercession this morning someone is taking a warfare position right now as you engage as you decree remember he said decree thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established on today someone decree right now the destruction of all satanic gang ups of all satanic imagination of all satanic opposition to the continuous growth of this church resulting in the multiplication of disciples of christ all through this season lift up your voice and pray some more let the lord hear your voice of intercession you can pray in understanding you can equally pray in the holy ghost our father in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree the destruction of all satanic all demonic gang ups against the continuous growth of this church resulting in the multiplication of disciples of christ in this church in the name of jesus christ lift up your voice some more and pray heartily pray passionately pray this one line prayer that the lord must answer this morning in the name of the lord jesus christ they lift up your voice and pray some more in the name of jesus our father we decree the destruction of every satanic opposition to the continuous growth of this church resulting in the multiplication of disciples of christ in this church in the name of the lord jesus christ someone is still engaging his heart in this intercession jesus said i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it in the name of jesus lift up your voice this morning jesus is the builder of the church no gate of hell is permitted to stand against it now lift up your voice and pray heartily this morning in the name of jesus our father we decree the destruction of every satanic gang ups of all satanic opposition to the continuous growth of this church that will result in the multiplication of disciples of christ in this church all through this prophetic season now lift up your voice and pray heartily you can pray in understanding you can equally pray in the language of the holy ghost as the oppositions are being cleared, it will lead to the gushing in, it will lead to the overflowing of multitudes of multiplication of disciples of christ in this church now lift up your hands lift up your voice appreciate him some more give him glory give him honor because it is done in jesus wonderful name we have prayed be seated give jesus a big hand again we shall rise to pray same father 
Let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. As of the Apostles 13, 44, and the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. In that scriptural light, let's be on our feet as we begin to pray. Saying, Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Lift up your voices, saying, Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Lift up your voices. Pray, Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Lift up your voices, pray it in your understanding, and pray it in the Holy Ghost, saying, Father, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a flow of fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this prophetic season and beyond. Parosa, <laughs> Ile polopa, marado zelebosa, i carado ze pelopa, maninosa, i paro se kelopa. Give him thanks and give him the praise. Father, we appreciate you. To you alone be your glory. In Jesus' precious name, we're praying. Put your hands together for his glory as you guess it. Next, 
We shall pray this way. We'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, give all our new converts and new members in this church a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. A louder amen. John chapter 9 and verse 25. He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. Please rise with me this morning as we lift up our voices again, placing the demand. Father, in the name of Jesus, give all our new converts and all our new members in this church a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. Our Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we ask this morning that every one single new convert and every one single new member in this church have a life-changing encounter with you, resulting in the testimony of once I was blind, now I can see. Our Father, we are asking for a complete change of story testimony. A testimony that will be sharing the persons. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for a total turnaround testimony. A total turnaround encounter. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, give all our new converts, give all our new members in this church a testimony you have done them before. It's your usual way of forgiving us a first encounter. Lord, let every new convert, every first timer that you bring into us in this prophetic season have that life-changing encounter resulting in a broad testimony that all eyes will see in the name of Jesus. Our Father, we ask this morning that you give all our new converts and all our new members in this church a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see. Once I was sickly, now I'm healthy. Once I was lame, now I can walk. Once I was homeless, now I'm occupied. Father, a testimony, a life-changing testimony. Once I was jobless, now I'm gainfully employed. Father, a life-changing testimony. Once I was single, now I am settled. Once I was called barren, now I'm a joyful mother and father of children. A life-changing testimony. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, Give all our new converts, give all our new members in this church a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see it. Thereby establishing them in this church for life. Our Father, we ask that your good hand of testimony, your good hand of encounter, we touch every new convert. That your good hand that changes my story will touch every new member in this church and turn it around for a life changing testimony. A turn around encounter. Our Father will pray in the name of Jesus that you give all our new converts, give all our new members in this church a testimony of once I was blind, a life changing testimony, a testimony of your soul in the name of Jesus. Our Father, give all our new converts. Our Father, give all our new members in this church a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. Little Shekitara, Ezu Seketori, Ratalabaye, Kadome Sekuta, Ratabalanta, E Pratole Ketuska, Reshita, E Mantale Ketoske, Rasho Patale, and Nome Kelis Catalia, a testimony, a life changing testimony, a life encounter. Father, give it to all our new converts, give it to all our new members in this church. Leto Paya, Garatole, Azope Ketele, Azope Ketale. Leander, Russia, Russia, Kakatome Keturiasa, Ale Tobaya, Rate, Father, gave all our new converts and all our new members in this church a testimony of once I was blind, now I can see, thereby establishing them in this church for life. Now lift up your hands, God has heard us, we are grateful. Father, thank you. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Your hands together for Jesus and please be seated.
We shall be rising up next to pray, and this shall be our prayer line. Father, shed your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interest of your kingdom, so that my life will keep springing surprises among men. Can I have a believing amen? First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, but as it is written, I had not seen, nor hear had, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. Now let's rise on our feet. This one prayer is for you. Rise on your feet and let's begin to engage. Say, Father, shed your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interests of your kingdom, so that my life will keep springing surprises among men. Oh, lift your voice this morning and engage heartily, refuse to be distracted. Pray fervently. This is one prayer that is for you and for me. Father, shed your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interest of your kingdom, so that my life will keep springing surprises among men. So that my life will keep springing surprises among men. Lift your voice and engage intensely. Pray deliberately and earnestly. Father, shed your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interest of your kingdom. So that my life will keep springing surprises among men. The part finding, the pain setting, the tribulation life of wonder. Genuine love for you is always certain to guarantee a life of wonder. The pain setting life, the tribulation life. Therefore, Father, I cry today, I must not be an exemption. In this covenant, I will hear, I must be a living wonder. Lift your voice. And ask God the shedding of the love of God abroad in my heart. Le raga boliga to lali. She grab a lali arabo babia. I kabulati le a kepulia. She daroga raba lali ge. Ude la la. I katadi arasuli. Abram baliga kurisi ababia. I luga baria baraba talia gesuzia. My father. Shed your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interest of your kingdom that makes you to add every other thing that will make me a living wonder. Shed your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interest of your kingdom, so that my life will keep springing surprises. Among men, lift your voice, engage intensely. This is one prayer you need to pray heartily. This is one prayer that is guaranteed to change your life. My father, shed your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interest of your kingdom, so that my life will keep springing surprises. Leabatelia, Urabalali de Katu. Iria Zabra Gaka Ida Lage Templa Kotia. Are you praying? Are you engaging? Are you engaging heartily? Let a cote pia folia. Ida Kapuli Akotosia Akotosia Ida Katalia Rose Abetentia Ugu Palia Ba Abati Lidasu Urokotia Urokotia Kabaya Kasali Atolia. My father shared your love abroad in my heart, both towards you and the interest of your kingdom. So that my life will keep springing surprises among men. Life changing experiences that men have not seen. A living wonder that makes men to wonder. Father, shed your love abroad in my heart towards you and the interest of your kingdom. So that my life will keep springing surprises among men. Oh, lift your hands to Jesus. Give him thanks because he has heard us. And because he had you, he has answered our prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Put those hands together for Jesus and please take your seat.
please put your glorious hands together and be seated. Shortly we shall be up on our feet to pray. Saying, Father, cause your art in this church to be noised abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four-level dimension growth ordained for this church in this prophetic season. Say, Lada, amen. Acts 2, 6 and 41. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together. Then they that gladly received the word of God were baptized. And the same day, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Rise upon your feet. Let's engage our heart this morning. Let our prayer be fervent. Saying, Father, cause your heart in this church to be noised abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension growth or day for this church in this prophetic season. Father, cause your heart in this church to be noised abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension growth. Ordained for this church in this prophetic season. Father, do it, Lord. The four level dimension of growth. Lord, we have seen increases in our midst before. And you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You will do it again in our midst. Father, cause your heart in this church to be noise abroad. Signs and wonders, breakthrough, diverse testimony, turn around. Career breakthrough, your heart, Lord, in this church, let it be noise abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension growth or day for this church in this prophetic season. Father, in the name of Jesus, cause your heart in this church to be noise abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension growth or day for this church in this prophetic season. Pray, let the Lord hear your voice. Father, cause your hearts in this church to be noised abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension growth ordained for this church in this prophetic season. Father, that is your agenda for us this season. Minimum four level dimension of growth. Father, do it, Lord. Let your heart in this church to be noised abroad. Lord, signs and wonders, breakthrough. Supernatural turnaround, career breakthrough, business breakthrough. Lord, let your heart, let there be diverse testimony across all our churches worldwide. In thy name of Jesus, Father, cause your heart in this church to be noise abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension of growth or there for this church in this propheticism. Father, do it, Lord, we look unto the ease. From whence come at our help? Father, signs and wonder, testimony on every side, across all our churches, Lord, in every service, let there be diverse testimony that we announce your heart across all our harvest feed, Lord, across all our churches, that we noise it abroad in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, let the Lord hear your voice this morning, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, Cause your heart in this church to be noise abroad, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension of growth ordained for this church in this season. Father, do it, Lord. We see multitudes gather. Lord, about 3,000 souls gather. Lord, we saw 5,000 souls gather. We saw multitude of men and women. And the more we say thank you. Father, do it in our midst. Gather the multitude from everywhere. To achieve your agenda for this season, the four level dimension of growth, Father, do it, Lord. Pray in your understanding as we pray also in the Holy Ghost. Don't look around, don't mutter what. Open your mouth this morning, let the Lord hear your voice. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, cause your heart in this church to be noise abroad, resulting. In the full delivery of the four level dimension of growth, or death for this church in this prophetic season. Father, do it, Lord. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please put your glorious hands together and be seated. Next, we shall be praying this morning, saying, Father, by the Holy Ghost, 
guide every soul winner in this church to where those ordained unto eternal life are, thereby leading multitudes to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. Let's shout a loud amen. amen. Acts chapter 8 verses 26 and 27 paraphrased. Arise and go toward the south. And he arose and went. Shall we rise to our feet this morning? Lift your voice and begin to pray passionately this morning. Father, by the Holy Ghost, guide every soul winner in this church to where those ordained unto eternal life are. Thereby leading multitudes to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. Someone is praying with passion this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus and by the Holy Ghost, guide every soul winner in this church to where those ordained unto eternal life are. Father, guide every soul winner, O oh Lord. In this prophetic season, to where those ordained unto eternal life are, thereby leading multitudes to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. Father, we ask this morning by the empowerment of the Holy Ghost, guide every soul winner in this church to where those ordained unto eternal life are, thereby leading multitudes to Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. Father, in the name of Jesus, guide every soul winner in this church by the Holy Ghost. Lead us, O Lord. Direct us, O Lord, to where those ordained unto eternal life are. Wherever they are, lead us on to their hiding places, O Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring multitudes all through this prophetic season unto Christ and this church in the name of Jesus. Uh, you pray with understanding this morning. Pray with faith in the name of Jesus by the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Father, guide every soul winner in this church, in this church, to where those ordained unto eternal life are. Guide us, O oh Lord, thereby leading multitudes unto Christ and to this church all through this prophetic season. In the name of Jesus, Father, this day by the Holy Ghost, we release the hold of the enemy upon those ordained for eternal life. We release by the power of the Holy Ghost the hold of the gods of this world upon those ordained for eternal life. Father, in the name of Jesus, lead us to wherever they are. Lead us, O oh Lord, to wherever they are in the name of Jesus, leading them in multitudes uh, unto Christ uh, and this church uh, all through this prophetic season. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Father, prepare their hearts. Uh, Lord, let the light of the glorious gospel uh, begin to penetrate their hearts. Uh, prepare them wherever they are, even before we arrive. Uh, their hearts are made ready. The harvest are ready. Lord, in the name of Jesus, direct every soul winner in this church to where those ordained for eternal life are, thereby leading many multitudes unto Christ and this church all through this prophetic season. Are you praying in the Holy Ghost this morning? Rados Yanamasokaba. Radu zize zuzia, lakanda malosiaga, radozi amundi la barozi, kazazi akatana na, rado zikla baruzi, zazuzi, 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 makobali ana, zekatebre klodizia, manu si kabayara, in the name of Jesus, even before we arrive, the harvest is made ready. Father, thank you. In Jesus precious name we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus. We'll be rising next to pray, saying, Father, 
turn all our flyers and tracks into effective sequels of harvest, thereby drafting multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond. In Joel chapter 3 and verse 13, it says, Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full and the fats overflow. Please let's rise up this morning as we begin to engage in Father, turn all our flyers and traps into effective sickles of harvest, thereby drafting multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond lift up your voice this morning and let the lord hear your voice of intercession of father in the name of the lord jesus christ we pray that you turn all of our flyers and tracks into effective sickles of harvest thereby drafting multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond this is a heart cry this morning someone is praying lifting up your voice in this intercession this morning our father in the name of the lord jesus christ we pray that you turn all of our flyers all of our tracks into effective sickles of harvest thereby drafting unprecedented multitudes even record-breaking multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond this is a heart cry this morning someone is praying in the name of the lord jesus christ that every of our flyer every of our track shall become paper missionaries in the name of jesus christ lift up your voice this morning and pray that everyone that receives our flyer everyone that receives our track on the harvest field shall be pulled shall be ignited by the fire of the holy ghost and be drawn into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond pray some more pray understanding equally pray in the holy ghost this morning our father we pray that you turn all of our flyers all of our tracks into effective circles of harvest thereby drafting unprecedented record-breaking multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond lift up your voice this morning in the name of the lord jesus christ that all our tracks and flyers shall become irresistible circles of harvest undeniable circles of harvest drafting convicting souls converting souls into this church all through this prophetic season lift up your voice and pray heartily this morning remember you can pray you understanding you can equally pray in the holy ghost our father in the name of jesus we pray that you turn all of our flyers all of our tracks into us let it become let all of them become effective circles of harvest as they begin to convert as they begin to convict as they begin to pull multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond Ato setiani amborate e karata santa ne portaniani ne kusaniana. Let them become paper missionaries. Let them become paper missionaries in the hands of all of our contacts on the harvest field, pulling them, converting them, converting them into this church all through this prophetic season and beyond. Pray some more. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Netoshila ake to rutea abola pato sati le posotia ne kaba ne kariado eto sati e zanata la brodo ne kosati ala areto boziana ne kotariade e patosa na to sati alo ampolo prade. Now lift up your hands, lift up your voice, appreciate him. The Lord has had us this morning. Give him glory, give him honor, because it is done. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Be seated, give Jesus a big hand. In a moment again, we shall rise. And this segment was saying, Father, 
in the name of Jesus, silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and new members from being established in this church for life. John 10 and verse 5, And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Please, let's rise as we engage this morning, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, silence the voice of the stranger, seeking to manipulate all our new converts and new members from being established in this church for life. Silence their voice. Lift up your voice. Uh, cry out to God this morning. Our Father and our God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, silence the voice uh, of the stranger. Silence the voice uh, of every manipulator. Silence every lying tongue uh, seeking to manipulate any of our new converts and new members from being established in the faith and in this church for life. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, Everyone, everywhere, let's together engage our hearts, uh, engage our faith, uh, make this demand on the prayer altar. Our Father, in the name uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, silence the voice uh, of every stranger seeking to manipulate uh, and confuse uh, and deceive uh, any of our new converts and new members uh, from being established in the faith uh, and established in this church for life. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, someone pray some more this morning. We're engaging our faith. Uh, we're engaging the name uh, as we silence uh, the voice uh, of the stranger out to manipulate uh, all our new converts, uh, all our new members uh, from being established in the faith uh, and in this church for life. Uh, our Father will silence their voices. Uh, we silence the voice of the stranger. We silence the voice of discouragement. We silence the voice of the manipulators. How to confuse, how to deceive all our new converts and new members from being established in the faith and in this church for life. Someone pray some more this morning. Be fervent with your engagement. Be intense with your prayers. Our Father, let the voice of every stranger be silenced. Let the voice of discouragement be silenced. Let the voice of manipulators be silenced. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice. Someone pray some more this morning. Engage your heart, engage your faith. This is the will of God. Therefore, let's pray it with faith. Let's establish it this morning. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate any of our new converts our new members from being established in the faith and in this church for life uh, we come against them someone pray some more this morning engage with fervency engage with tenacity the voice of elias the voice uh, of the strangers they are silenced this morning the voice of manipulators the voice of discouragement the voice of deception we silence them this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, someone is praying. Uh, you are intensifying your engagement. There are many unruly and vain talkers, even of the household, uh, whose voices must be stopped. Uh, our Father, stop every voice of deception. Silence uh, the voice of manipulators out uh, to deceive, uh, out to manipulate, out to confuse uh, our new converts, our new members from being established in the faith uh, and in this church for life. Uh, you are praying some more. You are intensifying your engagement with confidence, with full assurance. Uh, you are intensifying in the language of the Spirit, uh, silencing the voice uh, of the manipulators. Uh, every lying tongue, uh, every voice of deception, we silence them. Azuketiagatano. Our Father, silence their voices. Silence their voices uh, in the name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, now let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. Here's a prayer answer. God, our Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please give the Lord a big, big, big hand. And you may be seated.
next we shall rise to pray i'll be saying father let the holy ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind drafting record-breaking multitudes into this church this coming sunday numbers 11 and verse 31 and there went forty wind from the lord and brought quails from the sea and let them fall by the camp as it were this journey on this side and as it were this journey on the other side round about the camp and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth please rise with me this morning let's lift up our voice as we place a demand father let the holy ghost come down as a mighty rush of wind drafting record-breaking multitudes into this church this coming sunday our father we call for the help of the holy ghost himself who is the lord of the harvest we ask that he will go forth into our harvest field as a mighty rushing wind drafting record-breaking multitudes of young and old male and female from far and near the nooks and crannies drafting multitudes into faith tabernacle this coming sunday our father we call for the help of the holy ghost he is the lord of the harvest let him come down as the mighty rushing wind the irresistible wind no one can resist his move let him come down go forth into our harvest feed drafting multitudes of men and women young and old from far and near into faith tabernacle this coming sunday holy ghost we ask that you come down again like you did before the day of pentecost drafting multitudes into the upper room draft multitudes this coming sunday into faith tabernacle multitude of men and women young and old bring them into faith tabernacle father we ask for the help of the holy ghost they draft in multitude holy ghost let them come in and draft multitude come in as a mighty russian wind draft a multitude into faith tabernacle this coming sunday from far and from near bring multitudes of young and old into faith tabernacle go to the hedges the highways the lanes uh, bring in multitudes of young and old males and females into faith tabernacle this coming sunday our father will demand that the holy ghost himself come down as a mighty rushing wind uh, drafting record breaking multitudes into faith tabernacle this coming sunday he's done it before let him do it again holy spirit you are the lord of the harvest you came in and you drafted three thousand as the initial stage secondly you brought five thousand again you brought more to the economic county you brought two towns uh, almost the whole city holy ghost do it again draft multitude come in like a mighty rushing wind that cannot be resisted and drafting multitude record breaking multitudes unprecedented multitude into faith tabernacle this coming sunday you brought the wind uh, from the every sea of men and brought them to the camp in the same way go forth as a mighty rushing wind bring men like quiz uh, into faith tabernacle this coming sunday bring multitude that cannot be numbered multitude of young of old of males and females into our church services this coming sunday in the name of jesus holy ghost coming as a mighty rush of wind drafting record breaking multitudes into faith tabernacle this coming sunday ratapakata lakatoska when you went forth as a ruin to the sea you brought multitudes of queens to the very camp go forth bring multitude of men and women to faith tabernacle this coming sunday arasa sakatali arushe pata reteke tekeloska ratu 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 babaleke parantoleska elo shapara intalando letaladia holy ghost come in as a mighty rush wind draft multitudes of men and women into faith tabernacle rock and breaking multitude into this church this coming sunday azuse kitara in bratilia katushka rati rata balento now lift up your hands god has heard us father we are grateful thank you father in jesus holy name we are praying your hands together for jesus and please be seated In a moment from now, we'll be left alone with the...
of the scripture. Let's rise as we pray, saying, Father, grant every foot soldier supernatural offerings that brings convictions and conversions all through the prophetic season, thereby leading many to Christ and this short prayer. This prayer will pass on with us from the depth of your heart and like a minute is a prayer that must be answered this morning father grant every foot soldier supernatural utterance that brings conviction and conversions all through this prophetic season thereby leading many to christ and this church father grant every foot soldier supernatural offerings that brings convictions and conversions all through this prophetic season, thereby leading many to Christ and this church. Father, grant every foot soldier supernatural offerings that brings convictions and conversions all through this prophetic season, thereby leading many to Christ and this church. Father, as your people go everywhere reaching out to the lost as your people go everywhere reaching out to souls father grant lost supernatural authors that breathe convictions and conversions all through this prophetic season thereby leading many to christ and this church father let your convincing your convicting your converting ultra be granted to every foot soldier lord that we lead many to christ and this church all through this prophetic season father grant every foot soldier supernatural utterance that brings convictions conversions all through this prophetic season thereby leading many to christ and this church leading many to christ and this church father as the word said and for me that all trust may be given unto me that i may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel father grant every full soldier everyone on the go for christ all through the prophetic season supernatural utterance that brings convictions conversions all through the prophetic season thereby leading many multitudes to christ and to this church to christ and to this church father grant every full soldier supernatural authors that brings convictions conversions all through the prophetic season thereby leading many to christ to this church begin the to power the prayer in the holy ghost le ro shatari bara e pro tu tu le ke ya gada anana no shatari abosa rakato se ke te ranana nya no sha re pre ke tu la bara e ro shagato le bara e pre ke te mara e ro pe ke te dia to rakaya ka to dia ta give him praise give him glory for receiving and answering our prayer this morning in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Please put our hands up, Lord, for have assist in God's presence. We're continuing in prayer this morning. This time around, we are praying in this manner. Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every agent of the devil seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four-level dimension growth ordained for this prophetic season. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 29. For our God is a consuming fire. Without assurance, let us wage war against these forces. Say, Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every agent of the devil seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four-level dimension of growth ordained for this prophetic season. 
every agent of the devil, animate or spiritual, whether human beings or beings from the demonic realm, every agent of the enemy, every force the devil might deploy against this four level dimension of growth ordained for this church. Every doubt, every unbelief, every spirit of slothfulness that will hinder God's people. Lord, whatever means the enemy will deploy, whatever machinations, whatever shenanigan, every agent of the devil, every force deployed to disturb what God has planned for this time, the delivery of the four-level dimension of growth ordained for this prophetic season. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume. Our God is a consuming fire. God, you have said those who contend against us, you will contend against them. You will save our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every agent of the devil seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four-level dimension of growth ordained for this prophetic season in this church. In the mighty name of Jesus, let God hear your voice. Crown to God with all of your heart. Say, Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost, that consuming fire, consume every agent of the devil seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four-level dimension of growth ordained for this church in this prophetic season. Every spirit of slothfulness and indecision that will hinder the people of God from going out, every lukewarm spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree their destruction, every force of the enemy seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four-level dimension of growth ordained for this prophetic season. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the consuming fire of the Lord bring them down. In the name of Jesus, cry unto God and show your voice is being heard. Don't look around. Be focused in your prayer. We are saying it's a war waging prayer. Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every agent of the devil seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four level dimension of God ordained for this church in this prophetic season. Every agent deployed by the enemy, every Sambalat and Tobias, everyone, every Elimas the sorcerer seeking to turn away the hearts of men, every agent. Whatever forces the enemy may deploy, say they will surely gather together, not by me. Those who gather together against you will fall for your sake. Cry unto God, Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every agent of the devil, seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four-level dimension of growth ordained for this church in this prophetic season. Is somebody still praying? Ensure your voice is being heard from above. Say, Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every agent of the devil, seeking to hinder the full delivery of the four-level dimension of growth ordained for this church in this time. Every disorderliness in the nation that will prevent God's people from going forward, every enemy of peace and quietness in our land, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree their destruction by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now let's begin to thank God, because as we have asked, that's what we are going to receive. It says in all things, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we make our request known. Thank you, Lord. Every opposing force is destroyed. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please put your hands together. Take your seats. We shall be rising up to pray next. And this shall be our prayer line. We say, Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the continuous growth of this church. Acts chapter 6, verse 7. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Let's rise on our feet and let's lift this prayer line unto our Father. Say, Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar 
all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in continuous growth of this church. Now lift your voice and begin to engage in prayer, a prayer of faith arising from the heart. You have been given the word. Do not mute it. Do not be silent. Do not look around. Engage intensely. Let's begin to pray. Say, Father, let there be a continuous increase of the word from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the continuous growth of this church. Our Father, let there be a continuous increase of the word from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond resulting in the continuous growth of this church engage intensely engage actively pray that prayer and nestle father we ask let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond resulting in the continuous growth of this church when the church was there the word of God increased and the result was the number of disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Father, let that be our experience. Again, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar. All through this prophetic season and beyond resulting in the continuous growth of this church. Lift your voice and pray intensely. Our Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond resulting in the continuous growth of this church unto the people shall the gathering unto the lord shall the gathering of his people be therefore father let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond resulting in the continuous growth of this church lord we pray let there be a continuous increase of the world a great pastor where the people will come increasing number of people will come because there is enough and they will sit there they will lie down there continuous increase of the world enough he said if the world be increased the people that will be part of it they will also increase though we will eat from it they will also increase Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the continuous growth of this church. Lift your voice and pray, Father, that increase that bring light, that will cause order to come, that increase that bring breakthrough, that will cause order to come, that increase that bring healing, that will bring multitude. Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar, all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the continuous growth of this church. Are you praying? Engage intensely. It's time to pray. Do not be muted. Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar, all through this prophetic season and even beyond, resulting in the continuous growth of this church that increase that bring breakthrough. Like the case of Peter, it's a see. I'm such a wretched man. Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world and the number of disciples increase greatly in Jerusalem. Let that be our experience. Lift your voice and pray. Father, let there be a continuous increase of the world from our altar all through this prophetic season and beyond resulting in the continuous growth of this church. Give him thanks. He has heard us because we have prayed in the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate him. Put your hand together for Jesus. Next one, rise. We shall pray in this wise. Saying, Father, by the blood of Jesus, grant wisdom to every soul winner across our harvest field this prophetic season, resulting in great harvest of souls into the kingdom. Can we shout a louder amen? Yeah. Proverbs 11 and verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Please let's rise together. Lift up our voices as we make demand for wisdom this morning. Our Father, by the blood of Jesus, 
grant wisdom to every soul winner across our entire harvest field this prophetic season. Lift up your voice. Uh, we are making this demand with faith. Our Father, by the blood of Jesus, grant wisdom, grant wisdom, grant wisdom, supernatural wisdom, divine wisdom to every soul winner all across our harvest field uh, all through this prophetic season resulting in great harvest of souls. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, let's together make this demand this morning. We are calling upon heaven for the release uh, of divine wisdom, for the release uh, of supernatural wisdom upon every soul winner all through this prophetic season. Lift up your voice uh, and show your praying from the depth of your heart this morning. Our Father, we engage the blood of the Lamb this morning, asking that you release uh, wisdom upon every soul winner all across the harvest field, uh, all through this prophetic season, resulting in unusual harvest of souls into the kingdom all through this season. Lift up your voice. Uh, someone pray some more this morning. Let's make this demand. Uh, let's cry out to God uh, for the release uh, of supernatural order of wisdom, divine wisdom, unusual wisdom, all through this prophetic season, upon every soul winner, wisdom that we command, uh, unusual harvest of souls, uh, wisdom that we trigger, uncommon harvest of souls uh, into the kingdom, into this church. Uh, that's our demand this morning. Uh, someone pray some more, cry out to God, uh, engage your heart, engage uh, your faith, uh, our Father, lavishly release uh, your supernatural wisdom upon every soul winner all across our entire harvest field. Uh, and that includes you and I, uh, our Father, wisdom for massive harvest, uh, wisdom for record-breaking harvest uh, of souls uh, into the kingdom or through this prophetic season. Let that wisdom be released. Uh, someone lift up your voice. Uh, pray with passion this morning. You are standing strong in a place of prayer and supplication and intercession. You are crying out to God for the release of wisdom upon every soul winner all across our entire harvest field, both the young and the old, both the male and the female. Our Father, let your wisdom be released, your common wisdom be released upon every single one of us. Every soul winner in this great commission or to this prophetic season, let your wisdom be released uh, that we command uh, unusual harvest of souls, uh, men and women ordained uh, unto salvation or to this season into the kingdom, into this church. Uh, someone pray some more this morning and get to a fervency. You are calling for this wisdom upon you, upon every soul winner. You are engaging uh, with faith in your heart, uh, lifting up your voice. Uh, our Father, wisdom, our Father, wisdom, upon every soul winner. Let your wisdom be released uh, upon every soul winner. Unusual wisdom. Unusual wisdom. Our Father, let your wisdom be released uh, lavishly upon every soul winner all through this season in the name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, someone pray some more this morning. Be fervent, be fervent with your engagement. If any man lacks, let him ask. Uh, our Father, we're asking for the release of your wisdom upon every soul winner. Now let's thank him. That wisdom is released again this morning. Take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Big, big hand for the Lord. Uh, and you may be seated. Next, we shall pray this way. We're saying, Father, gather by the multitudes into our midway communal service tonight and grant every worshiper a definite encounter with your word for their desired turnarounds. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with open face, Beholding as in the glass the glory of the Lord, I change it to the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Please rise with me this morning as we lift up our voice, placing the demand. Father, gather abiding multitudes into our midweek communal service tonight and grant every worshiper, including yourself and myself, a definite encounter with your word 
for our desired turnarounds. Lift up your voice and place a demand. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, gather our abiding multitudes into our midway communion service tonight. Abiding multitudes, young and old, male and female, from far and near. Father, bring them all in into our midway communion service tonight. Father, bring in multitudes, multitudes, gathering tonight to worship Jesus. Father, it's our desire, draw multitudes into our midway communion service tonight. Abiding multitudes from far and near. Our Father, gather multitudes because in the multitude of the people is the King's honor. Our Father, this morning, will demand that abiding multitudes be the blessing even tonight in our midway communion service. And as they come, grant every worshiper a definite encounter with your word of power that will turn our desires to become realities in the name of jesus our father grant every worshiper a definite encounter with the power of your world turning our desires into testimony turning our desires to become a testimony in the name of jesus let there be turn around encounter for every worshiper by the power of your word and the communion table. Father, tonight, gather great multitude. Father, tonight, gather by the multitude into our midway communion service and grant every worshiper that shall appear before your holy presence tonight a definite encounter with your word that the turn our desires around in the name of of Jesus, lift up your voice, place a demand. Our Father, we ask that the multitude that come today, none will live the same way they came. In the name of Jesus, he said, but we all with open face. All of us minus none, everyone will have an encounter at the midweek service tonight. That is what the word of God says. That is the will of the Father. And we pray this morning. Our Father, that you gather uh, by the multitudes into our midweek communion service tonight and grant every worshiper a definite encounter with your word for our desired turnarounds. Every the turnaround that we desire cause it to become reality even by your word at our midweek service this night. In the name of Jesus Leko paradicata ezuku rutala kabarantoliazi ato periada. Father, gather our by the multitude into our midway communal service tonight. In Litori Adada kabatalisha reto kupata and grant every worshiper a definite encounter, an encounter that is traceable by your word to the service tonight, resulting in turnarounds encounter in the name of Jesus. Le pratili katara azupe kita elo shakatali aratomele karatome getus kabala. Father, gather by the multitude into our midway communal service tonight and grant every worshiper a definite encounter with your word for our desired turnarounds. Ritali katari azupe ketele aroshapa rata 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 leke patali aroshe prakata. Father, gather our by the multitude into our midway communal service tonight and grant every worshiper a definite encounter with your word for our desire turnaround. Now lift up your hands. God has heard us. Father, we are grateful. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. In a moment from now, 